Hi guys, so I wanted to um, show, show you what I got while I was out shopping, but I also wanted to talk to you guys about the um, product, the Super Stay 24 Hours um, color. I um, used it when I went out and then I came home and I pretty much wanted to do a review. The color that's on my lips now is not the color that... I had one, um, and it goes to show you that it was, like, I could not even get on camera to show you guys what it looked like. It was really bad. Like, I had to apply, like, another color while I was out in town. It did not last at all. It probably lasted me four hours. Um, like, I put it on at around 9, 30, 10 o'clock, and it was already coming off at 11 and I had not even eaten at all I still not have I still have not eaten at all um when I put it on the like at first it was dark just like this color it actually matches it's the same it looked the same exact um color you can go and preview um the video before and that's the exact color that I was wearing this morning and uh what it looked like when it was freshly put on and um when I came home, it just looked awful. It just absolutely looked awful. Um, so I would give this a 4 out of 10. Um, when you put it on right away, there is no transfer. Um, but once I was out and about and stuff, it w it just kept coming off. And it was drying. Like, it was really, really dry. I kept putting the balm on. Still was really, really dry. I just was not happy with it. So, I mean, this is great to go, like, out at nighttime. But, like, please reapply it because it just does not do justice of what it says it was going to do. And for a $9 lip gloss, you really, really hope that it's going to turn out okay. But um, I will continue to use this when I go out. Um at night but I will definitely bring it along uh, so I can touch it up because it's it's definitely something you want it to keep touching up even though it says it's going to stay for 24 hours no lip gloss stays for 24 hours at all um, so I think they should I guess correct what they say this is going to do just a tad because I can see it staying for like three or four hours straight without any problems but it starts to get nasty after four hours so that's all I would say um, about this product and I didn't want to even like come on camera like I said with it looking like that it just did not look flattering at all so I definitely had to touch it up so that is my little spiel about the 24 hour super stay lip gloss, uh, lipstick, color, whatever you want to call it. Um, and this is All Day Cherry, I believe. And this is in their permanent collection. Again, I talked more about this um, product in the previous video. So definitely go and check out that video because um, that has the look of when it was freshly applied. So you can get an idea of what it does look like freshly applied. Alright, now I went shopping and I want to show you what I per purchased. I only got two tops, but I wanted to talk about that lip gloss and then I wanted to just share with you real quick what I picked up so I don't have to like save it and show it to you down the road uh, in like the end of the month. So I'm going to just go ahead and show with you what I got. So the first place I went was um, New York and Company. And they were having really, really good deals. Um, this um, women's casual top was originally $49.95, and I got it for $14.98. And it was on the 60% off sale rack, and it actually was supposed to be on the 70% off sales rack. So that is pretty, pretty cool. So I got this for... With tax and everything, sixteen eighty eight. Oh, well, actually, for fifteen eighty eight, and then I donated a dollar to uh, St. Jude's Children's Center for Christmas time. Just you know, be nice and do your good deed for the day. So if you guys go out, you really should try and you know, I guess donate a, at least a dollar to someone in need. So, um, 
this is. So it's like a sheer top. And there are little cuffs. And the cuffs have little silvery studs. And then the neckline, it like buttons down. And the neckline has little studs as well. And this actually looks really, really cute on. And I'm just like in love with it. And it is a dark navy blue color. And like I said, it was $49.95. And I got it for $15.95. So. Um, and these tops, like, I got it a little size bigger. So it's like more flowy. So I really, really like that. That's why I got there. And then um, Rockin' Republic is uh, sold at Kohl's. So I stopped in there because I had to return a bra. That definitely was not the right size. So this is the top. It's very glitzy. And I got this for going clubbing and um, for when um, New Year's comes around. I really, really just love this top. And this top was originally $48 and I saved $23.50 getting it for a total of $24.50. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm just so in love with this top, and it it's like little sequins they go on it, like little studs, like the same on that. So I'm like kind of in the stud mood, but the other two things I picked up, and you know, I'm having issues with Kohl's because Kohl's says that like the sign said 50% off, and I went to scan it by myself, and it came up like $38, and on the sign it says 50% off, but it wasn't coming up right. I had to wait like a, like probably 10 minutes for somebody to, like when I checked out, for like somebody to go back and check it to make sure it was correct that I was really telling the truth. And I was, I just like, I'm not trying to, you know, get a, get more money off of the clothing than it already is. So that was kind of frustrating, but. They did give it to me for the right price because it did say on the sign that it was 50% off. So, other than that, I'm done ranting and raving, and I hope you guys have a really, really good rest of your day. And I will talk to you later. Bye!